Here we have triangle nine, a right triangle. Here's our right angle in that triangle. Across from the right angle is always going to be your hypotenuse. Now, the two sides are called your adjacent and your opposite sides. And it's determined by where the angle is. In this case, here's the angle theta we're trying to figure out. Across from it, that's going to be called its opposite side. And right beside it is going to be called its adjacent side. So in this case, with this problem, we have the measurement for the adjacent and we have the measurement for the hypotenuse. So we want to use the trig function that deals with adjacent and hypotenuse. Well, let's remember it. Some old hippie caught another hippie tripping on acid. Acid was a drug of the 80s. A lot of people used, jumped off buildings in California. Crazy. Never do any type of drug. Keep your body, your temple. Make sure you're taking care of it. It's the only body you're given. Don't mess it up. Stupid things people do. Never understood it. All right, here we go with theta. We have adjacent hypotenuse. Adjacent hypotenuse, that's going to be the little c here. c is the cosine function. So we have the cosine of the angle. Do we know the angle? No. So I just put theta is equal to adjacent side divided by hypotenuse side. Adjacent first. The adjacent is 4. So it's 4 over the hypotenuse side. Well, that was given as 13. So we got to find theta here. So I'm trying to find theta. I got to get rid of the word cosine because I don't cosine of what degree. I could type in a bunch of numbers and come close and figure it out. But here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take the inverse cosine. The inverse cosine of cosine beep, goes away. Whatever I do on this side, I'm going to have to do over here. So I'm going to have to take the inverse cosine of 4 thirteenths. So theta, who's left there, oops, is equal to the inverse cosine that's negative 1 right there, of 4 thirteenths, 4 thirteenths. Get my calculator, I put it in degree mode, and I type inverse cosine. Usually that's found under the second and then the cosine button. So I do the inverse cosine of 4 divided by 13. When I did it earlier, 72.1 degrees is what my graphing calculator said. So this angle right here is about 72.1 degrees.